What's good, y'all? It's your boy Merck B. Williams, man. I am here um, to review a movie, man. We're reviewing a movie, man. Uh, the hottest movie out right now, uh, Girls Trip. <laughs> girls Trip. Uh, and so I got a girl to go to the movies with me. So we went on a girls trip. Did it? Don't, yeah, okay. It's <laughs> but yeah, so she ain't got no homegirl, so I had to be her. And so we went to see the movie last night. This beautiful young lady sitting to my right. Uh, if you don't know who she is, uh, she's the uh, Abundant Life Seeker herself, has her own vlog uh, that she just uh, came out with uh, and a uh, website that she launched as well, too. I am shinyair.com. This is Missionary Johnson. How you doing? Hey, y'all. I'm up? good. You good? good? All right. You sure you good? I'm positive. All right, cool. We're going to try to get this <laughs> over with, y'all, because uh, the food that I'm cooking, we can smell in the background, and we both hungry as So, yeah. Uh, But, yeah. Girls Trip, Girls Trip, um, hottest movie going out on uh, going on right now. We actually got a chance to go and check it out uh, yesterday. Yeah. We actually got to go got to go check it out yesterday in Madison because Jackson ain't got no movie here. <laughs> so uh, yeah, Chokeway, yeah, this is for you. <laughs> so yeah, so we checked it out for the people who don't know much about uh, who don't know what the movie is about. Just to preface it real quick, uh, it's uh, basically for. Uh, four friends who pretty much grew up together uh, and they ended up not seeing each other for five years. Yeah, about yeah, five, five years. years. They yeah. didn't see each other for like five years. Yeah. And so the opportunity arose for uh, one of the young ladies who is kind of like the, I guess I would say the main character in the movie or whatever the case may be, uh, the, who got this opportunity at the Essence Fest. And so she was like, it was a great opportunity to reunite with her friends. And so they all got together to go on the girls trip uh, to the black female mecca event of forever, <laughs> which is Essence Fest. The best so, ever. The best ever. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, so that's the preface of it. It's uh, apparently done really, really well. Uh, $30.4 million out the gate. Uh, highest selling comedy yes. uh, first weekend ever. Like, so that's what's up. You know, hashtag black girl magic. You know, <laughs> that's dope. That's what's up. So, um, and it's cool that I have Shanere with me. And of course, uh, we went to see the movie together and all that other stuff, which is really, really good. Because, you know, I don't know how much uh, of an enjoyment the movie would have been if I would have been by myself. So it's important that you go That's with strange. a wonderful woman and she pretty. So, and she smell good. I'm telling you, she smell like Victoria's Secret Love Spell and Cucumber Melon Lotion. <laughs> I'm telling you, this baby smells amazing. Man, it's insane. It's all right, because the last girl I dated smelled like my ball. But okay. anyway, that's off subject. We're going to keep it off subject. But um, what did you think about the movie? I'm going to give like a quick overview of kind of what you felt about the movie. I thought the movie was hilarious. I thought that it was definitely um, a good kind of, you know, um, story where a lot of females can relate you know you have college buddies you guys used to hang out tough and then you kind of have your own lives and you kind of separate and lose contact with each other so i thought it was really good a lot of women you know have a lot going on and it's good to rekindle that and get back to that friendship so i thought that was really good yeah, how they really you know good. pointed that out and what was cool uh that i that i liked i can appreciate the fact that you know they kind of spotlighted all the women mm -hmm. Uh, in different aspects and they were all actually successful in yeah, all successful. you know all their endeavors and whatever well they ain't really except for Dina but <laughs> they you know, I think she was which, look let in me say own. this man Tiffany Haddish it's stole hilarious. the show she yeah. stole the show hands down and that's no slight to the other ladies uh, but man Tiffany Haddish if you don't know who that young lady is she's an amazing uh, actress now and, and comedian as well too uh, she has a very, very inspiring and empowering story. If you ever get a chance, make sure you just look her up and go read her story. Uh, she is at, she is naturally funny. And I honestly feel like, you know, as a comedian, I just feel like they didn't even have to write for her. I think she, she got out there and she I just did her thing. Yeah. Uh, but I like, like I said, I like the way uh, that they uh, kind of shined a positive light on, like, uh, how all those black women were successful like you know they got kids and they have that you got a doctor and, and you got uh you know this lady who is this successful like gossip column mm -hmm. or whatever and then you have this motivational speaker life coach whatever the case may be right, with right. a successful husband <laughs> we gonna tell y'all but you know oh, Lord. but yeah I, I like that i like that part of it as well too so like let me ask you this. If you could compare yourself to, to one of the characters, who would you... I, I know who I feel like you're most like. Okay, I can't wait. Because to I know you. 
I so, can't wait to hear this. Who do you feel like you're most like? Um, I think I think I was most like the main character. I think I kind of you know saw myself in her a lot. I think you like the main character and Jada Pinkett's character. Like you like a co- combination of now you don't you don't you don't dress like I don't dress uh, homely no, like that because she homely. was real homely. No, you don't dress homely, <laughs> and then you was in this all black stage for a while. And I, just, I like black. You you like goth apparently. Whatever. But yeah. Okay. But Moving anyway, on. no, I'm <laughs> just it was no. Um, so uh, as far as like, and then we don't want to be negative, but like what? Because <laughs> I know what stuck out to me. What stuck out to you? As far as like, if it was something, if you had to like pick something that stuck out to you that you just was like, ugh, or, uh, you know, what what would it what would it have been? Like ugh, uh, uh, like no, like eh, uh, like, like nasty. Yeah, like wow. that grapefruit thing was just what? That was nasty. The grapefruit thing was yeah, nasty? yeah, that was nasty. So yeah, I completely disagree with what she's saying. <laughs> I'm sure you would. I absolutely, positively disagree. That could not possibly feel good. I'm just saying. Well, I'm, I don't know. I want to find out. <laughs> Go on. What What was up to you? Man, look, I love Jada, but I, what was going on with her face? Oh, God. I I'm just saying, like, like look, Jada, Jada. He was really upset about Jada's face. Botox. I think that's Botox. I mean, it's, it's got to be, because, like, I'm saying, Jada, Jada, like, <laughs> Her eyes were 27, her cheeks were 53, but her neck was 72. I just didn't understand that. Oh, my God. Jada looked like Jigsaw by the face, baby. <laughs> she do. You are insane. Jada, what is going on? You know? You had a life coach in the movie talk to that lady. And then they didn't do nothing. You know what? They didn't do nothing to her hair. They didn't do nothing to her hair. They just put, you know, they just mm-hmm. put her in a, in, a, in a bang. They just put a, a, a lace front yeah, bang. That, that was sad. Was it lace front? It's not lace front. No, it was just a bad wig. wig. You know, I don't know nothing about it. It's a wig. Um, all right, so we don't have a rating system, so we ain't Cisco and Ebert. So we, we, <laughs> we can't give you five stars or two thumbs up, so we'll say, um, all right, so I would say, so would you, would you rate it as definitely go see it or, nah, fuck that shit. I'm already just definitely go see it. I mean, it's 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 a it's a good see. I say go see it and definitely go see it because we're of age, y'all. Oh my. So yeah, so we look. Ah. Let me tell you something. So we we in the movie because I know, still call him Rap Age. Just being, baby. Uh, we, first of all, that man name. I don't know what's his real name. I can't say. Rap Angel. That's his name. <laughs> He gonna be rap angels for the, to the day he died. <laughs> he sure is. Just like we just found out Steve Urkel with Jaleel White. We didn't even know that. <laughs> didn't nobody know that. That's Jaleel. No, that's Steve Urkel. Stephon Urkel, whatever you want to be. But look, let me tell you something. So, rap angel came out. Y'all gonna see him. Ooh. All the ladies, y'all gonna see him. I appreciate rap angel because he repping for the dog skin brothers. So, rap angel came out, man. I'm talking about, man, I ain't never seen no black man with skin like this. This man's skin is flawless. I'm trying to tell you. Beautiful. And so, he came out there, man, and she looking like she don't want to look at him. <laughs> I said, he fan? He all right. Look, rap angel fan. I'm a man, and I'm going to tell you, the man, he fan. The man, he fan. He, he got pretty skin, pretty eyes, his teeth white. Mm-hmm. I mean, now he, uh, he look like he smoked. But it's all good. It's all you know, good. He, he, just, he chills it and all this other stuff. I'm just, you know, when I was in the gym today working out in front of you, all I could think about was, Lord, make me like Rap Angel. Make me a <laughs> Rap Angel image. So my old lady can look at me like she looked at Rap oh, Angel Oh, my last Lord. Night. But nah, we, we definitely enjoyed ourselves, man. And we it's would great. definitely encourage you guys uh, to go out uh, and see the movie. Please go see the movie. Yeah. Spend your money. Spend your money and support sure. the movie. Yeah. Uh, support uh, Black Hollywood. It yeah. means something. It means a lot. Uh, those box office numbers, those things like that, they mean a lot. Mm-hmm. So it's important that you guys go out and spend your money and go see the movie. I know some of y'all got fire sticks. I know some of y'all got... I saw somebody post them out there. Like, I, is it on fire stick? Yet? Yeah, I'm I know. Like, is it on y'all fire stick? Y'all just like, go, to, go spend the money. No. But what you gonna spend on the fire stick? Go spend the money. Now, I ain't gonna take get no popcorn. <laughs> popcorn, $72. And it was horrible. And the pop was ninety three. <laughs> <laughs> we got we got a large popcorn and a pop and shed it. <laughs> Two straws. And then she gonna leave the popcorn. No, you better take this popcorn with you. <laughs> you better eat it for a snack at work. You paid too much for that. 
But yeah, man, spend your money, man. Don't don't get on the free movie sites and try to catch it. You know, at least go see it then, bootleg. Yeah. You know, we'd appreciate it if you do that much or whatever. So, uh, before we get out of here, uh, as always, uh, I know you've got some amazing things going on. And I just want to say publicly, like I said privately, I'm extremely proud of you. Thank excited you. for everything that you got going on. Yeah. Uh, always exciting to see uh, black women in power, not just other black women, which is cool that we went to see this because you saw black women empowering right. each other, and that's awesome. Uh, but always empowering other people as well, too. And so that's what you're doing with your Abundant Life blog. Uh, if you can, just a, a few minutes, man, just talk about that a little bit and kind of tell the people what that is and what they should expect with that. Well, I am on an abundant life journey. I am seeking the fullness of life. And so I've decided to share my journey with everyone and so i have plenty of stories to tell and i have plenty of things that i've been through that right. i'm sure that a lot of people can relate to right. so i want to inspire everyone and i want to get some inspiration back from you guys too so my abundant life journey and blog and everything is at i am shanera.com check the website out spell it because you know you gotta spell it <laughs> i am you know how to spell that right s-h-i-n-y-e-r-a Dot com and also visit me on YouTube for you know weekly videos every Wednesday there'll be a video up pretty much you know showcasing my journey maybe some inspirations I'm sharing all types of things with you guys I just want to put out positivity and love and light and just you know be happy in a happy space so check me out and also check me out on Facebook same thing I am Shanera so that's what I got going on cool that's awesome it's like if Gandhi was fine he'd be you oh God <laughs> That's, that's kind of what that, that is. That's a good thing. Okay. That's Gandhi. Like, he all about peace and love and unity and people. He just was the most attractive man oh. ever. I mean, and he walked around in the bed sheet. But anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> once again, man, it's your boy, Merc B. Williams, man. As always, uh, the host with the most, the funniest, or the funny sometimes, and all that other good stuff. But I'm funny in real life. Please believe it. Uh, follow me on all social media, man, at Merc B. Williams. <laughs> Uh, please be on the lookout as well, too, man. Comedy Central coming in the fall. You'll see this ugly face on the camera telling some jokes and all that good stuff. So, uh, without all that being said, or with all that being said, not without it, <laughs> but with all that being said, uh, we finna go eat. Yes. Because you hungry? Yes, I'm starving. Your face is beat to the gods. Thank honey. you, honey. Yes. <laughs> we finna go eat, so... Uh, yes, we said Finna. That's how we talk in Mississippi. So, yeah. <laughs> y'all stay locked to everything that we got going on with Late Night Jackson. Make sure y'all go to the website. Make sure y'all go to the page and like it. Shout out to the round table. Man, go like that stuff. That procrastinates all of that. We got a lot of stuff coming in the pipeline. So, y'all keep it locked to us, man. We appreciate y'all, man. Stay up. Stay blessed. Stay free. Peace. <laughs>